Hi, I'm Maggie Pishnashin and we're doing some watercolour painting today. With watercolour it's very important to reserve your whites and to start with your lightest tones and colours and gradually build up to the dark shadowy areas in the, in the composition. So I have actually used masking fluid to preserve the white shining white square shapes of the buildings. So I'm going to start with my very lightest colours, which are going to be yellows. There's a lot of very bright, sharp lemon yellow in this composition. So I'm going to start with that. I've got some good strong mix here of lemon yellow and quinacidrone yellow, which is going to give some very, very hot yellows and greens in this painting. I can put these on quite freely I'm going to drop blues into it before it's dried to allow greens to appear luminously and mixing freely on the paper rather than mixed in the palette. So gradually now beginning to build up the intensity and the depth of colour, particularly in my main focal point areas, which is looking through this gate at the end of the vegetable garden here. So quite delicate washes that I can put on all over this part of the painting and which I can come back to later. Just wait for the wet shine to disappear from the wash that you've put on. Then you know that you've got a bit more chance of controlling what's going to happen. So carrying on to the edge of the paper now, beginning to build up these darks. Now going to make sure that some of this colour can do more exciting things by mixing on the paper. So dropping in pure blue and then in a moment I shall add to that with some more sepia. Right, so now I can start and think about putting some blue on top of the yellow that I've got there in order to create some of these hot greens and blue greens that I can see. Got quite a variety of yellows and greens. Blue greens, yellow greens, quite a range of different types of foliage. So we're going to have some cool areas and some hot areas in order to make a, a bit of variety and contrast. Some parts of this garden are still uh, bare earth so we can introduce a little bit of the primary colour that I've chosen. I'm just going to indicate some of these plant forms. It's worth spending time practising making marks with your brushes and finding out how you need to move the brush in order to suggest things like plant forms. How are you going to indicate to the viewer that these are lush, verdant, bean plants in this case, but just giving an impression of a, a very lush, verdant green space. You have a pattern, there is a pattern element to any kind of composition and you need to be aware of that and to be exploiting it. So I'm building up some distant trees there, a little bit more darkly on that, uh, on that landscape just to allow me to have a, a contrast of light against slightly darker. Right, I'm going to need to leave this to dry for a little while now. 